Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Come on, boy. Hi, right, Joey. How was the trip? Wonderful. How was the jamboree, Joey? Yeah, did you have fun? What? Oh, yeah, I had fun. But where's Fury? He should be here to welcome me home. Well, it seems Fury's found a new interest while you went away. Another interest? But he's my pal. He should be here waiting for me. Fears like a new pal is occupying all of Fury's time now. New pal? Who's Fury's new pal? Jim, what does Pete mean? <laughs> oh, relax, Joey. We're just teasing you. <laughs> Come on in and change, and we'll ride out. You can see for yourself. <laughs> Orphan, Joey. Fury's been protecting him like a big brother. Gee, I'm gonna get you into the Boy Scouts for this good deed, Fury. <laughs> what happened to the Burrow's mother? Well, we found her dead up here in the hills, Joey. What from? It's hard to tell. Seemed to have been poisoned. Poor little fella. But you're lucky you found a friend like Fury. <laughs> Where do you think the rest of the herd got to, Jim? Mm. Uh... Hey, look there, Pete. Aren't those lazy M cattle? Sure does look like them. Look at that meadow another day and they'll have it eaten down to the bare ground. Doesn't Mr. Fowler know that this is our grazing land? Of course he does. Pete, I think I know now what killed that burrow's mother. Jim, I believe you're right. I'm getting Fowler and his cattle back where they belong before we lose all our horses. Lose our horses? How could we lose our horses, Jim? And what does the burrow's mother have to do with it? We can lose our horses the same way that burrow's mother died. Poisoned from eating loco weed. Can I go with you, Jim? Well, if you make it fast. What about the burrow? We'll have to come back for him later. Howdy, Jim. Well? Hello, Mr. Fowler. Howdy, Joey. Uh, Joey, why don't you visit with Marion while I talk to Mr. Fowler? Sure, Jim. Uh, what is it, Jim? I didn't want the kids to hear what I have to say. What's his name? His name is King, and he's very smart. I'm going to teach him to do tricks like Fury. When did you get him? He was a birthday present from Daddy. Look, Cal, you know doggone well that your cattle are grazing on my land. What can I do about it, Jim? Cattle go with his feet. Now, you've done this to other ranchers. You're not going to do it to me. Look, there's no grass left on my side of the range. What's a man supposed to do? Look, an acre of meadow supports just so many cattle. It's simple arithmetic, Cal. If you put too many on it, you overstock the land, and there's nothing left but loco weed. We ain't going to have that happen to our land. Now, what do you say, Cal? Well, I think you're worrying too much about that loco weed. Nothing's happened yet. I'm not going to wait until it does. You'll have to get your cattle off my land. All right. If that's how you feel about it, I'll move them out. See that you do.
Come on, Joey. Calvin Fowler is. Ah, he'll learn one of these days, Pete. The hard way. Jim, are those vultures up there are just chicken hawks? Now they're vultures, Joey. Gosh, I wonder what they're after. I'm afraid to think what they're after, but we better find out. Sample of that horse's saliva. Right, Jim. What happened to him, Jim? I'm not sure, but all the signs point to loco weed. What's the sample for? I want Doc Walters to analyze it. If I'm right, we're in trouble. You were too, aren't you, Fury? Okay, Jim, I'm set. All right, we'll phone Doc Walters soon if we get in. Yeah, there's no time to lose. All right. Not that way, back to the ranch, Fury. <laughs> Jim! Fury wants to go the other way. <laughs> Don't hold us up, Joey, we're in a hurry. He wants something. You want to go after the baby burrow, don't you, Fury? We'll come back for the burrow later. Right now, we've got to get to Doc Walters. You heard what Jim said. We'll come back to your pal later. Better fill up the feed bins too, Joey. Okay, Jim. What about Doc Walters, Jim? Oh, he's on his way over. <laughs> Animals don't know it's poisonous. Did we get to him in time? Did we, Dr. Walters? I don't know, Joey. We'll do all we can for him. I don't want to fool you. Fury's a pretty sick animal. Fury, you can't die. You can't. Come on, Joey. Let's let Dr. Walters help Fury now. We'll stay out of his way. Give me a hand here, sure. Jim, you don't think Fury's gonna die, do you? We've got to be prepared for whatever happens, Joey. And you do think he's dying, don't you? Joey. The next few hours will tell one way or the other. The big problem right now is to save the herd if there's anything left. Yeah, if Fury got into that stuff, there's no telling how many the rest of them have. I wouldn't lose any time getting the rest of that stock off the range, Jim. <laughs> now to be out there rounding them up right now. We can't do nothing till morning, Jim. And by morning, there may be nothing alive to save. Doctor, look! You're awake, Fury. 
Is he going to be all right, Dr. Walters? Well, I told you, Joy, the next couple of hours will tell. In the meantime, you leave him strictly alone. I'll sleep with him tonight, just in case he needs anything. Oh, no, Joey, a horse in this condition can be pretty dangerous. But you gave him medicine. He's calmed down now. Well, the trouble is, Joey, we don't know yet whether the medicine's going to work. But I'm his friend. He won't hurt me. Joey, an animal that has local poisoning doesn't know his friends. You remember what he was like a few hours ago? You better sleep in your own bed. I'll see you to your car, Doc. Get well, Fury. Please get well. I looked there. I looked everywhere. Well, I checked the barn about four this morning. He was there then. And I went out around three. Well, he's gone now. Maybe that local weed has got more attraction than we figured. Come on, Jim. Pete, let's start looking right away. Joey, Pete and I can't look for Fury now. But you have to. You have to help me find him. Now, wait a minute. You know we have to bring that herd in this morning, if we've got a herd left. And we can't waste any time doing it. Then might I please go look for him myself? All right, you saddle up and go on out. But, Joey. What? You know what local weed does to animals, so be careful. Come for us if you find him. Yeah, we'll most likely be up in the North Meadow. All right, all right. Come on, let's find those horses. Number five. It's happening, Pete, and happening fast. I wish we could locate that herd. Where is it? Well, we'll find them all right. All we have to do is follow this trail. Yeah, trail of dead horses, vultures. I hate to think what we'll find at the end of it. daughter Marion? I know. What happened? She's disappeared. She was helping me get an early start driving back the cattle and now I can't find her. Looks like we got all kinds of trouble today, Cal. I know, I know. The local weed and I'm to blame. But I've got to find my daughter now, Jim. She runs into one of those locoed animals, there's no telling what might happen. We'll help you look for her. Where do you reckon she might be? Well, she rode over here to chase out a few strays. That's the last I saw of her. All right, suppose we fan out and work up the wash to the trees. Uh, good idea. Cal, you take that side.
you. What are you doing out here by yourself, Marion? My horse threw me and ran away. You mean your new horse, King? Yes. Can you give me a ride back to camp? Sure. But have you seen Fury anywhere? No. Is he lost, too? He ran away sometime last night. Yesterday, he got sick from eating loco weed. Gee, that's too bad, Joey. <clears throat> What's that? Maybe it's Fury! <laughs> Okay now, 
Jim. I can tell. Aren't you furious? <laughs> now I'm going to help Jim find the horses. Do you know where they are? Well, what are you waiting for? Show the way. What do you know? Right in that south middle where we wanted it. Fury, something tells me you had something to do with this. Of course he did. That's why he ran away last night. So we could lead him to safety. Well, he sure saved the day for us. Fury, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Expect this. That's the least I can do to make up for my stupidity. Oh, uh, I'm building fences too. Won't happen again. Daddy, look! And look at the horse Mr. Newton gave me. He's just as pretty as King. Now bet he's as smart as Fury, too. Nobody's as smart as Fury. <laughs> <laughs> 